All right, just going to show a quick clip of Sam Gibb, Evangelist Sam Gibb, talking about three different examples of when some of Stephen Anderson's cultists infiltrated Baptist churches and brought in all of Anderson's heresies, tried to convert the church and steal you know, the members and send them over to Phoenix, Arizona. Because this is the truth of the matter, is most what they would call old IFB churches, the new IFB refers to them as old IFB churches, if they find out you're involved with Stephen Anderson, they'll kick you out of the church because... Anderson's cultists have a consistent record of going into churches, causing problems, spreading heresy, and essentially trying to, uh, you know, steal members and send them over the Phoenix. And Sam Gitt mentioned three different examples, one of which is from a church actually not far from where I live. So this is much closer to home. And one of the reasons why I spend so much time exposing Stephen Anderson is because his group is now the new Westboro. They are being propped up by the media, and not only are they making Bible believers look bad, they're just hurting churches overall. So especially in the Baptist movement. So here's a clip of Sam Gipp. He can teach anything he wants to in his church. The problem is that he is sending little groupies into other people's churches. And that is wrong. Uh, I spoke with a Canadian pastor. And a, a young couple came to his church one Sunday morning. They said they liked it. They were very nice people. Then Sunday night, that night, they came in passing out Stephen Anderson DVDs and telling people to watch them. The pastor told him, I don't want that done in my church. And he said, I don't want you coming back. So you know what he did? The guy the next Sunday night sent two other Stephen Anderson clones, and they did it. Just kind of a slap, a pastor in the face gesture. I know of a church in uh, Colorado where uh, a couple joined, and then as soon as they joined, they started proselyting and trying to send people to Phoenix, Arizona. If you listen to the testimonies of the people in Phoenix, his church is not growing because he's knocking on doors in Phoenix. His church is growing because he's sending people into churches and they're stealing other people's members. They're teaching things behind the pastor's back. Uh, I talked to a pastor in Ohio. Uh, He said that on a Sunday morning, some Stephen Anderson followers came in and passed out flyers and invitations they were to a movie premiere that night at five o'clock, Sunday night. And then, oops, incidentally at six o'clock, they're gonna have an evening church service. And these are just three examples he cited. There's other clips I've shown where he mentions how there's at one point where he had like 10 different pastors all independently confirm that they've been having issues with Stephen Anderson. There's another point where he mentions some churches over in Australia and the UK that have had, you know, been given fits by Anderson over the internet. So it's a problem across North America and even in some other countries too. Because, you know, they essentially get put it this way. He's not growing from, his church is not growing from Arizona. It's growing from all the other places they're trying to infiltrate. You know, it's going from New York and New Jersey, here in Canada. That's the truth of the matter. And this new IFB cult, you know, it's because think about the West Coast Baptist Church is that it's just one little, you know, for, for, you know tiny little, you know, group out there in, in Topeka, Kansas. But the new IFB, it's an ever-growing movement. And how they're growing is sheep stealing. They're going to Baptist churches, bringing in Anderson's heresies, or just fly out taking members and converting them over to Anderson's heresies and sending them over to Phoenix, Arizona. That's how the cult operates, the cult of Stephen Anderson. Hence why I continue to expose Stephen Anderson's new IFB, the little denomination that he got started. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.